Alright, here is the Lenovo Professional Ultra Slim Wireless Combo Keyboard and Mouse. I ordered this directly from Lenovo's website. It was uh, like $89 or something like that. I don't give a shit about that mouse, but I wanted this keyboard. There you go, you can see the keyboard. Very thin. Mouse. And there is a little charging cable. It is not USB C, it's this micro USB. It does come with some batteries that I've never heard of. Just paper stuff. And that is it. So check out this relatively small mouse here. I like that. This little piece is stuck on, doesn't come off. Here's your little dongle. I guess you obviously put your batteries in there, so let's take the dongle out. So the problem is, I didn't really care for this mouse, but I wanted this keyboard. I asked Lenovo, and they were you can't, it, it, it doesn't sound like you can just mix and match mice and keyboards on their site, which is annoying. Because they had a nicer mouse than I wanted. Normally I use this Logitech mouse, which is uh, a lot taller. And I think I would much prefer this one over this one. Alright, so let's unsheath this bad boy. So, there's a nice weight to it. You can see the volume keys are over here. Here, play pause key, stop track keys, uh, settings, I guess. Oh, a snippet button, I like that. Full number pad, you just hit the number lock button, which I don't like. There's a lot of weight to this, really. I didn't expect it to weigh as much. There's an on off switch here. And I guess you have to charge it, there's no batteries. Uh, for reference, it is slightly shorter, like barely like I don't know, a millimeter shorter than the Apple Magic Keyboard and about the same height on the back end of it and if we go on the lower end lip to lip the it's higher on the Lenovo and the keys definitely stick up higher on the Lenovo than they would on this Apple keyboard, which is ridiculously thin. Uh, I would say Lenovo is probably heavier. I have this Lenovo Yoga laptop, and I love it. And I do like the keyboard, so I bought this thinking it would match up, and it does appear to look pretty similar. Most of the buttons line up, there's a little difference there, so the volumes line up correctly, and the mute, but the play pause is added. There's no airplane mode, of course, and obviously this one has a number pad. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get it set up, I'm going to test it out, come back to a separate video. I'm going to use this right now, I have a meeting, I'm getting ready to join, and I'm going to try it on this laptop. Alright, and then I'll go over pairing. There shouldn't be any pairing, you should just plug it in, it should work like so we can do that now. Okay, so currently I'm using this one. Let me turn this guy off. Let's see here, we just have a single USB port on the side. Or a single USB-A. You can see here, it says right here, we're setting up the Lenovo UltraSim wireless combo keyboard and mouse. So I assume I'm going to need to charge my keyboard. This mouse is now on. And you can see it recognizing that just fine. I don't know if you can hear that. It does have like the the button the mouse does click of course and it feels like a little notches which I like I don't like that smooth scrolling so we're gonna turn this on and we'll hit the slash so it does appear to 
obviously you get to hit the number lock. It does light up when you hit the number lock, that's good. Same thing with caps lock, there's a little light there. Alright, so that's pretty good. I'm going to get this set up, I'm going to start using it, and then I'll rearrange the camera to get a better view here. I'm actually going to use it for the meeting and then I'll film what I think about it after that. Alright, so I did not follow up that video appropriately, it is now November 8th. So I've had this for, you know, almost two months, maybe more, I don't remember what the original date was, but definitely it was September, so I've had it roughly two months. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the keyboard, I hate this mouse, I used it for less than a day, and then I went right back to my Logitech. A little bit later on, I tried using the mouse again. I was like, maybe I was too harsh on it, and I instantly hated it again. So, I don't like this mouse, and I will not be using it. It's going to go right into uh, electronic recycling, I guess. So, I do like this combination. Uh, you know, part of me wishes the color matched a little bit better, but obviously, it's two different brands. Uh, two, I don't like having two dongles to, you know, the USB things. I'd rather use it through the USB dongle than a Bluetooth. So, that means I have two different ports taken up uh, one for this one and one for the mouse. Keyboard wise, I love this keyboard. I use it every day. I'm a big fan of it. I use this delete key. I'm a huge fan of this. It's weird how it's long and tall, but I like it a lot. Uh, I really like having the number pad on a full-size keyboard, of course. On a laptop, I don't want the number pad on the full-size keyboard. I definitely want a number pad, and I'm glad, and it works great. I really don't have any complaints. Uh, you get to hit the function key to make the volume and stuff like that work, but that's just kind of a Microsoft thing, probably. Uh, in the meantime, I also got this Logitech keyboard. Uh, for Chrome devices. You can see it's smaller and the keys are chunkier. So it's shorter and taller. Uh, but of course, it, it's Logitech, so it will use just one dongle as opposed to all these other things. But and it's also, this one's built for Chrome OS, so it has a Chrome OS button. So I wouldn't be able to use it from a Microsoft one anyhow. But I do like this keyboard. That's just giving you a size comparison about you know how much bigger this one is compared to this. Uh, ultra slim. So I'm going to pull my microphone a little closer. I have my short microphone here. And I'm just going to type a little bit so you get an idea of how loud the keys are. I don't think they're loud. You know, uh, nothing, it's not too loud. Uh, it's a good travel. I enjoy this keyboard a lot. So for the price, probably overpriced because it comes with this mouse I don't care for. But as far as keyboards, I do enjoy it. I'm glad I purchased it. I like it better than my old school Logitech keyboard. I think I like it better than this Chrome keyboard. I don't use this Chrome one very much. Uh, but, because, you know, I just don't use Chrome as much as I use Windows. My work device is a MacBook, so I do use this a lot uh, as well. But, uh, and I do like this keyboard. It's a good keyboard. But if we were to switch from MacBook to uh, Lenovo, I would definitely just use this keyboard for everything. I would toss. Now, obviously, the Mac keyboard's not going to work, but, uh, you know, as far as Windows goes, I'm a big fan of this keyboard. I'm still considering the Logitech MX keys, just because I can use that for both Windows and Mac, and I could just use one uh, dongle for the mouse and keyboard as well, freeing up a USB port, but overall, it works pretty great. This keyboard, I use both with my Windows desktop PC and the Windows laptop I showed in the earlier part of the video, and it works perfectly fine with both of them. In theory, it works perfectly fine with Chromebook as well, but I prefer, when I'm using a Chromebook, to have the dedicated Chromebook keys. Oh, also, uh, I have not charged it since uh, that original video, and it is, I mean, I charged it until it was full, I guess, and I haven't charged it since, so, you know, it's been two months-ish and the battery lights never come on. I don't always turn it on and off. I mean, sometimes I will turn it off, like if I know I'm not gonna use it, like if I was going out of town or something like that, I would turn it off, or if I know I'm just gonna spend a couple days not using the Windows device, I would turn it off. But for the most part, I just leave it on, and I just, you know, set it aside, uh, and I guess it goes to sleep or something. So I have no qualms with the battery. You know, I was disappointed that's micro USB-C instead of US, a micro USB instead of a USB-C, but uh, for as little as I have to charge it, that's okay. So the only complaint I have is it's a little pricey and I don't like this mouse. Uh, if they sold it by itself or if you could miss, just pick what mouse you want to put. Because like Chrome, uh, Lenovo did have a mouse that looked pretty similar to this one. I probably wouldn't like it. I just don't like that particular mouse. But this keyboard is great and I highly recommend it. Uh, especially if you've used that Lenovo laptop that I have. Or if you have you know a similar with the little shield shaped keys. I really like those keys. I like typing on it. Again, uh, for some reason I like this stupid delete key. I know it's a silly thing to kind of focus on, but I know I do hit it a lot. And every time I, you know, it's easy to hit because it's so big and I, I don't I just like it. You know, for example, on this keyboard, it's just a tiny key. And here's the larger key, so it makes it easier to hit. 
Same thing on this one, it's that small single key. I like the elongated key. Outside of that, it's not really a lot to say about the keyboard. I mean, basically, I like typing on it, and that's really the gist of it. I think it looks cool, and the battery life has been good. So I don't have any complaints with the keyboard. The mouse sucks ass. Uh, I do like this Logitech. If you don't mind having two dongles, I'd recommend this one as well. All right, well, I guess that's it. Thanks for checking me out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I can't imagine you have too many questions about a keyboard, but there's not a lot of videos on these kind of keyboards, so I thought I would make one. Uh, check it out. I do like it. Uh, I'll have a separate video on this Chromebook keyboard, which I also like. And if I ever get the MX keys, I'll make a new video on that, and I'll compare it to this one. All right, uh, thanks for checking me out.